the issue with blue screens that are happening for a very tiny percentage of people on Windows 11 24H2 that have Western Digital SN770 or SN580 solid state drives, NVMe drives. The reason why you never saw me use or recommend Western Digital SN770s is they're not a good value. They've never been a good value. And for a Gen 4 drive, they're very slow. Like these days, when we're evaluating one of the mini PCs that comes with a built to price 512 gig or one terabyte NVMe, they usually run about 5,000 megabytes per second. A good Gen 4 drive, high performing, will run about 7,000, 7,300, right in that window. I mentioned before, most users probably wouldn't notice the difference, but if I'm gonna spend my money and I can go 20% faster and spend 20% less, and the drive is just as reliable, if not more reliable, why would I sell that to my customers uh, uh, you know, that cost them the same amount of money to go slower? Whether they notice it or not, that's not the point. My business is to build something that lasts, not something that's just good by today's measure. I don't know what tomorrow's measure is going to be. So here you can see they still sell the SN770. And if you buy this in a two terabyte size, Western Digital has released a firmware update that fixes the blue screen crashes. This only affects two terabyte drives from Western Digital and SanDisk. If your drive is of a different capacity, it will not impact you. So just two terabyte drive. This is a very specific problem that affects a very small number of people overall. But if you notice the SN770 here is $119.99 on sale. They're saying this has a list price of $159.99 and it's 25% off at $119.99 and it can achieve speeds up to 5,150 megabytes per second. Five year warranty. And it's the only manufacturer of NVMe drive on the planet that I'm aware of that has this issue with Windows 11. So if you would have instead bought the rather unknown brand Feijing, the one I've been recommending and using now for quite some time, specifically the S880 model, also same capacity of two terabytes, same five year warranty. Many of the chips on board, the, the controller and the DRAM are the same. Faster speeds up to 7,300, 129.99. But there's a 20% coupon right here that's going to take, uh, you know, take $26 off of that. That'll be just a little over $103 for a drive that is the same capacity. We've installed about three dozen of these. I've never seen one fail. The Western Digital you have seen me use is the SN850X. So if we go back over here and we look up the 850X, that is the high performance edition. And again, just to compare prices, that would be more in line with the Feijing drive. You see here, uh, this one is a four terabyte drive. Let's drop it to two. So two terabytes, 149.59. So quite a bit more, almost $50 more than the Feijing drive for the same capacity and the same speed. And because this is the SN850, there is no firmware update required. The only two models are, sorry, there's a, a series of models from Western Digital and SanDisk, the same company, by the way, that are two terabytes in size that need a firmware update that you can grab for free it's a one-time permanent fix, but you'll notice these are the affected models. They're all two terabytes in size. Okay, so if you have a Western Digital Blue uh, SN580, SN5000, SN770M, or SN770 that are two terabytes, you're going to want this update. Or if you have the SanDisk Extreme, just this one specific SanDisk Extreme M.2 two terabyte, you will need the updated firmware this is not a fix for Microsoft. Microsoft didn't drop the ball here. This is from Western Digital and Sandus. They're the ones who made the mistake. They're the ones who are coming out with the fix. So not only would you have paid more for these drives to get the same warranty, slower speed, you'd also deal with this problem that literally no other drive manufacturer, as of October 21st, 2024, these are the only five drives 
in existence that have this problem.